Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for uh, being my lovely, lovely fan. And if you find these uh, uh, videos or serial videos are very helpful, please share them with your friends. Maybe, maybe they can help them to uh, come to Canada and stay here. So today we'll speak, last time we spoke about the visitor visas. We spoke that there are three, we, we tell you that there are three types, uh, family kinds, business one, and the visitor or tourism visa. So uh, we spoke about the application and we highly, highly, highly recommended you in the last episode to write the travel plan. Again, many, of pe many people get rejected because they don't have travel plan. I would recap it. You have to write why, when, and where you're going to stay and why you want to stay, come to Canada and when you want to come to Canada. You have to explain your tie back to your home and why you want to return back to your country. You have to address the financial uh, matters, how you're going to uh, uh, finance your, your trip and uh, how you're going to pay for it. Then you have to show the document uh, uh, list of all documents you attached to the application, everyone by itself, name them. And the last one, the strength in your application. I also spoke about validation of uh, application IMM uh, 5257. This is very crucial. When you finish the application, you fill in the form, there is a small button called validate. You have to uh, press it or click on it and it will read the application if there is a missing information it will show you on red that this is missing information you have to fill it and if it's validated in the top corner it will show validate and that it's okay and you will see uh, at the end of the documents you have a new page with barcodes different barcodes that shows that your uh, application is validated it's only for this the main application which in this case imm uh, 5257 um, one of the mistakes, actually, it's the digital photos. Uh, the, the, the photos to the Canadian immigration, they have their own specific and rules. So you have to print that page from the internet and go to your photographer, local photographer, ask him to make you a digital photo with this diameters, the size of face. It's very clear there. If you, sh if you show it to the uh, photographer, they will know. And if the photographer is experienced, he will know it, like most of them know it, but it's better to take. Uh, the third mistake I would speak about, it's you can't find the right PDF applications to open the PDF forms. Guys, I don't know, it's, it's a huge headache for many people when they download documents from the Canadian government. These documents are PDF files. However, most of the PDF readers will show you this mistake. It's it's common. Don't worry. I will solve it with you. It's 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 a stupid. I don't know why it's high security and stuff. It's an application. But uh, like you need a professional version of the PDF even if it's the last version sometimes it doesn't open uh, but there is a solution for that, and it's called, it's an application, it's a PDF, it's free, uh, easy to find, uh, it's called Foxit uh, PDF Editors, so, or Readers, uh, here it is, Foxit, it's not an advertising, it's nothing, but this is the most common uh, software for PDF, um, Adobe is... Uh, is not working, sorry, uh, this is not the link. Uh, yeah, this one, again, Foxit, sorry, sorry, that, uh, yeah, because I blocked all the advertised, here it is. So it's Foxit PDF editor, you download it for free, it's a trial, then you have to pay, but you can fill the form then, unload, like, uh, and uninstall it, simple and easy. Uh, this is, I think, the solution for, for, for uh, uh, this uh, mistake. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, the last, uh, the la uh, no, not the last, but uh, the most common, as I said, mistakes are uh, the documentation. You can prepare all the documents that shows that you are uh, 
eligible or it's uh, it's 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 okay to grant you this visa uh, insufficient paperwork uh, we'll call it so um, sometimes the travel history is not insufficient uh, invitation letters you want to visit your sister and she doesn't write you an invitation letter so that makes it weird proof of your relation with the guys you want to visit sometimes it's uh, the family information um, maybe documents uh, or uh, you know you want to, to go to uh, a conference in in june and your travel intend, intended to be in august so it doesn't make sense and for sure bank statements if it's your bank statement it's weak then it will weaken your application. Uh, another mistake is the missing information in the invitation letter. The invitation letter, there is a requirement for it. You have to write your, uh, who are you, uh, like the inviters, your brother or sister who's in Canada, who are you, where they live, their phone number, contacts, email, whatever, where they work, uh, why they want to invite you, what's the relation with you, your information, and what how they will uh, support you during your stay they will just show you around or you will stay with them they will pay for your visit all these information needed and his status in canada need to be shown in the invitation letters if he's canadian you have to show your passport if he's a permanent resident a photocopy of his uh, pr uh, uh, last thing some sometimes you know conditions for example uh, if you have uh, medical conditions that impair, Im, impair you from uh, being uh, or make you a uh, danger, for example, uh, tuberculosis, if you have criminal uh, records, if you have a criminal records, all, all these things are uh, indication that uh, your visa could be refused. Uh, for uh, the requirements, the requirements for visa, for sure, for every single visa is different, but you have to be sure that you have the proof or you have the uh, documents needed for that type of visa. So read the, all the information you needed and complete them uh, to help you. Uh, sometimes the incomplete information, so any incomplete information, as I said, in the application or it's not validated or there is, for example, uh, questions that you did not answer could cause rejection of your visa. A travel history is not always a reason for uh, rejection, but it's an indication if you want to come to uh, visit Canada as a tourist and you never visited any countries before and you have $5,000 in your account where you can visit Turkey from Middle East for for three four hundred dollars why, why are you coming to Canada? So these are very important. You have to show that I dreamed all my life to visit the Niagara Falls or whatever, yeah? Again, again, and again, and again, and again, most common reason, the lack of strong ties to your homeland. This is, you can see it in most application refusal. They write it always. They are not convinced that you will go back uh, to your country after you finish your stay in Canada, and you will stay in Canada for any reasons. They won't believe you until you show that you have a tie to go back home. So this is really very important, even though like, you know, some students visas, which Canada need these students and they need, they grant them postgraduate work permit. However, you they still need to show this tie. Doesn't make sense, I understand it, you know. The government, the Canadian government say, come study in Canada. We will give you a work permit to stay here. And then it's a good pathway for permanent residents. And then they refuse him from the beginning because the lack of tie uh, or strong tie to be home. Uh, money, as I said, fund is very important. How much money in your account? It's, it's very crucial. Uh, it depends on the reason you visit and the people you visit. But... You need enough money. If you have like a 3,000 in your account and you would like to visit Canada for a month, believe me, your visa will be refused. It's not enough. It's not enough for 10 days to stay in Canada. So put yourself in the shoes of that officer. Then one of the denials happens because of previous denials. So if you were previously denied to visit 
Canada or any other country, it could give an indication to this officer that you get refusal too many, okay? You have to write in your application if you've been refused by another countries. Uh, but if you were refused from Canada, they will know that. They will know. So they will look into your application. Okay, you refuse because you have a bad bank statements. And again, you submit the same bank statement. They will refuse again. You pay another 200, it's good for them, but they will refuse you again. So please, if you've been refused, address the refusal. So go and say, okay, previously I was refused because of one, two, three, four. I don't believe that this was a judgment uh, or a true judgment of my application because one, two, three, four is not true. I have indication or like maybe letters or maybe uh, whatever supporting documents to show that these refusals were mistakes. What happens, okay? So these are the most important visas mistake please avoid them and hope to see you soon in canada subscribe to my channel send this video to your friends and hope to see you in the next episode